Hey guys, we have another sit in the car and chat and share opinions that don't really matter video today. I was sitting on Instagram like one tends to do and I was thinking about that video that Brianna Kay did, you know, talking about how husbands suck basically and that video, you guys know the one. I talked about this already but I wanted to talk about it again because I looked at some of the comments and that combined with some of the comments on my video I just started to think and then youtuber headlines did a video and while I'm not gonna echo what she said precisely I've always had this thing where I don't like to directly speculate on people's marriages or their addiction, if they're going through addiction, if they have an addiction problem. There's just certain things I don't like to talk about. Um, and speculating that someone's getting a divorce, you know, to me, until the influencer says something themselves, I don't feel comfortable making those kind of guesstimates and that's just me and my journey I'm not saying that it's the worst thing ever um, claiming that someone has an addiction is but you know sp speculating if someone might be having some issues at home I'm not saying that's the worst thing ever but I'm just kind of letting you guys know where I stand on it I apologize to anyone who has heard that before, but I also know that I have new subscribers, so I just want to put that out there. What I want to talk about today is the fact that YouTube channels are many times used as a place to trauma dump, as a place to vent frustrations that should probably be vented to a qualified professional like a therapist instead of dumping it on your subscribers and collecting pity or new subscribers or super chats or channel memberships or people to your Patreon, it just feels a little weird. And I see this on a lot of different channels. I'm gonna use Brianna K as an example, but it doesn't mean that I haven't seen it on other channels. The reason I think her situation is very interesting is because there are children involved. So we're not talking about, uh, you know, a single person who is going through a hard time and decides to just put all this stuff out onto their channel. We're talking about a mom who has little ones and her little ones are going to grow up and at a certain point in time, they're gonna be able to look back on her Instagram, her TikTok, YouTube videos, YouTube comments, and they're gonna be able to see what people were saying about their dad and about their mom. As of lately, Brianna's been putting out a lot of content that is very vague. She'll say something but she's not really giving a whole lot of backstory. She's not really giving a ton of detail. And what happens when you do that? People come to their own conclusions, especially if they really don't know what's going on. What they're gonna do is they're gonna try to tie out recent posts or things that you've said, and they're gonna try to come up with their own conclusion. Um, and I'm not saying that that's right or wrong, that's just what's happening. So with that, as I call it, the husband suck, uh, reel that she put out she is insinuating that there is some mistreatment going on at home like she is not appreciated she wasn't appreciated um you know husbands need to do more around the home when mom is home with the newborn um she talks a lot about feeling neglected and feeling like husbands don't do enough like Adam. Something else she said was that I'll have to take care of myself. Nobody else will do it for me. And usually when you hear that coming from someone that's in a relationship, it's stating 
I can no longer lean on my partner the way that I need to be able to lean on my partner. So I'm going to do it for myself. The thing that I find really interesting about the timing that I will say is that her youngest child is a year and a half old now. Why is this coming now? I think the timing is very interesting and I think that's why a lot of people are thinking that there is a separation. There might be something, you know, trouble in the water. And I don't know that and none of us do. Um, I can understand why people are saying that. But I did think that the timing was very interesting. Like, why now? Why after a year and a half are we talking about the time right after mom comes home from the hospital, talking about parental leave and what the husband's not doing. I think what a lot of people are concluding is that the last year and a half has been this really hard season for Brie, and maybe that's why it's coming now. She also talks about recently, she talks a lot about how hard the panini has been and how hard the panini is. And that I find interesting because if, if you look at things nationwide and how things are right now, I would say that we are in the best part of the panini that we've been in. Now, you guys know that I've been very vocal about how this has affected different people. And I recognize that some people are still dealing with jobs that they might have lost. Um, you know, adjusting to maybe a new income, if they had to take a different job that's not paying as much, redesigning your entire budget, trying to make sure that you're still able to pay your bills. So I understand that all of that is still happening as kind of a residual effect to the last, you know, two plus years. But as far as feeling isolated and feeling like, you know, she's vented a lot about having to wear masks and stuff. As far as that goes, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because when you think about it, mask mandates are being lifted. <clears throat> Travel restrictions are being lifted. She is someone who has complained about money and the panini and income, but at the same time has gone on vacations. She moved across the country. <clears throat> she held on to the house in Ohio while buying a house in Hawaii. She's someone who has constantly plugged nonsensical BS on her social media pages that was sent to her that nobody needs. Clothing, uh, you know, stuff for, stuff for the kids that is not necessary. So I understand how all of these things have affected people that are not influencers. And that's why I sit there and I literally like, I scratch my head and I get so confused by the upset that a lot of them voice while simultaneously doing everything that is the opposite of what they're complaining about. Don't complain about being isolated and being home all the time and then a week from now you're posting from Disney. That is so hypocritical and anyone that follows her would see that and say, what in the hell are you talking about? You cannot expect pity one day for being isolated and then be in an exotic location that nobody, you know, half, half the people haven't left their homes in two years. She also did say in a recent video that she will be renting the house in Hawaii this summer and going back to Ohio. And I think that that's also been a point of speculation for a lot of people saying, why is she leaving Hawaii? Um, you know, so on and so forth. I do think that the one sense of isolation that she's had is that she is in a completely different state and she probably misses her family in Hawaii or in, um, she probably misses her family in Ohio. So I think that going back to Ohio this summer makes a lot of sense. This could just be something that 
they're going to go as a family and there's really nothing to draw a conclusion out of them going back to where family and friends are but a lot of people have also made that a point of discussion so I'm curious to hear what you guys think about the idea of them going back to Ohio this summer and renting the Hawaii house. Now the last thing that I want to talk about here is the point of should all of this be vented on social media? Now again since I have some new subscribers I will tell you guys a very surface level um, surface level explanation of how I can relate to this situation only because I come from parents that were actually separated and I try to relate how I would feel if I was going through parents being separated but everything being put on social media and everything kind of playing out on this public stage how would I have felt if my mom was you know being vague and being you know throwing shade at my dad on a social media page if I could look back as a 30 something year old and see what my mom was saying about my dad and my dad was pretty much just staying silent I don't think that I would have a, a ton of respect for my mom I'm I'm just about I'm about both parties being able to tell their story and I feel like right now Brie is throwing a lot of indirect shade it's causing a lot of conclusions to be drawn from her own followers and it just sort of feels like I'm curious enough to want to know the other side of the story and she sees these conclusions being drawn and the fact that she ignores them or will like comments that are speculating on separations and all this kind of stuff if you want people to stop going crazy with conspiracies then maybe it would be a good time for her to kind of shut the rumor mill down you don't want people coming up with their own conclusions but you're feeding out these little shady videos and shady words that are clearly directed towards your husband but it, it's kind of like one of those people that ha has a whole lot to say and at the same time they say nothing and don't get me wrong I'm pretty sure that there's been videos where I ramble on and on and on and people are like oh my god well she shut up she didn't really say anything so I'm not saying that I've been perfect when I'm communicating either but it feels like there is something going on and instead of being direct she's choosing to be very indirect and collect sympathy off of it and I also wonder how this ties into the Greece trip is she trying to collect sympathy so that people might be more willing to go to Greece with her I'm not sure um, I think because she has been so vague and so shady about all of this it's creating so many questions it's creating so much confusion and so much just people don't really understand and I feel like once you start to really confuse your audience and at the same time you're being really entitled and you're being shady and then you're snapping at people that's where people really start to pull away so I would think that if she wants to save any last piece of you know that tie that that ties her to people who really like her right now would be the time to come out with a video and be like look this is what's going on I was saying this stuff because this is what's going on or this is what's not going on either be transparent or shut the rumor mill down I feel like that would be the best approach 
for her at this point in time because the conspiracies that I've seen are just wild. But until she either shuts the rumor mill down or decides to be more upfront, you know, people are going to speculate to, to a certain degree and that's what's happening right now. So, and also don't get me wrong. I know for a fact that this video might be a little rambly, but I have so many thoughts and opinions around Brianna K. but I'm also equally as confused because there's not really like a, like a hard fact pattern to follow. Like a lot of the other stuff with her, like her influencer course or the trip to Greece or, you know, a reaction video. It's like there's stuff there that you're seeing right in front of your face. And that's where the opinions come from with this. It's just like a bunch of like crazy nonsense. So either way, as always, I did want to put this little video out um, to get your all's opinions. And I posted on my community tab this morning. I'm collecting questions. I'm going to film my Q&A one day, probably towards the end of the week. So I will leave it out there for you guys. But if you have questions about beauty or YouTube or commentary or drama or, you know, questions about my personal life that I'm comfortable answering, go drop your uh, question over there and I will get to those. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.